Hey guys, it's James. I um, just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the Behringer PowerPlay PM1 Personal In-Ear Monitor Belt Pack. Before I bought this, I tried to look on online for reviews or unboxings and I couldn't find a single one. So, um, I think this is the first on YouTube. So this is mainly used for um, wanting to obviously monitor a sound coming in probably from the desk so the way I'll use it is I have a Q16 digital system at my church and what I'll be doing is um, basically plugging in direct from one of the auxiliary mix sends um, that's an XLR and you basically just plug your headphones in or if in ears and you just use the volume knob to adjust um, so that gets rid of um, all the wedges on the floor or the fallbacks um, so it's a very cheap alternative I got these for I think about $63 or so um, this is Australian dollars um, so yeah let's get into it so it's a pretty small box um, nothing too fancy on it just some descriptions um, some specs so I've already actually unboxed this before, um, just to make sure everything was okay. So this is a quick start guide, um, just showing you the different parts, um, what they all do, um, different languages, you can get this online in PDF. This one it came in, um, this is just like a silicon moisture absorber. And this is the product itself. Um, I was actually very surprised, um, looking at it for the first time, how small it was. Um, so it's got the logo on the front, Behind, it's got this um, metal clip. It's not bad. Um, at the back, we've got an XLR female, and that's got a push connector. Um, so that's that's really good. So it, you know it's not going to fall out. Um, you got serial number, and on the top, you've got the log or the model number. You've got an eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter um, headphone jack, and you have a volume knob. Now the volume knob um, is quite good actually because each um, stage actually has a click so it's quite tactile um, so you might be able to hear it so it's not smooth so I think that's pretty cool because you get to you know make it softer or louder in um, smaller increments which is nice nice to have I mean for 60 something dollars to have in ears that's a pretty good buy um, and so the only thing that I can see that will potentially be breaking is this volume knob. There is a slight gap um, over there, just from the volume knob to actual case, or potentially this clip um, bending too much um, from basically slotting into your belt um, or, or jeans or whatever you're using. Um, I don't even know if that's completely straight. It doesn't look straight. Um, but I guess you get what you pay for. Um, the retail is $69. Uh, I got it on sale, 10%. Um, but yeah, for $69, this is a pretty good um, investment into having in-ears. So the in-ears that I use are the Shaw SE215s. Um, as you can see there, um, these do me well. They're single driver, um, they're entry model, but these are pretty decent. So basically just um, using this Connect it in here, put it to your belt, get a feed from the desk, XLR. This can be from a snake or direct, depends where you are. Um, and then, yeah, just go ahead and play music and you can hear your own mix. So that's just a quick unboxing of the Behringer PM1 Personal in a Monitor Belt Pack. If you like this, um, subscribe um, for more videos if you want to see more. And just, yeah, give a thumbs up if you liked it. Just, a dislike if you disliked it and yeah just leave comments on what you think about this PM1 Behringer. See you guys.